Not on the picket line just yet, but union representatives are once again negotiating a new contract for workers at Cabell Huntington Hospital. As 13 News reporter Lane Ball explained, nurses and nurse practitioners want to make sure that jobs are filled locally and that everyone receives the best care, including themselves. With their current contract about to expire in January, SEIU union representatives for nurses and nurse practitioners at Cabell Huntington Hospital are working on securing a new and fair agreement. Our main concerns is uh, staffing ratios, safe staffing in the hospital. Recruiting and retaining nursing staff. Officials say one of the biggest changes currently on the negotiation table is health insurance. They have proposed increases uh, that are almost unaffordable to some of these nurses. As a nurse who works in the hospital where I'm exposed to everything, um, telling me that I may lose my health care after 30 days because I've been out sick is very scary. Workers are also claiming that Cabell Huntington Hospital is allegedly spending millions of dollars each year on travel nurses rather than investing in local workers. I reached out to hospital officials Thursday evening and they say, quote, like many other hospitals across the nation, Cabell Huntington Hospital has experienced staffing challenges. CHH will continue to bargain in good faith with the SEIU to achieve a fair contract. But nurses like Holly Bragg say this is more than the union not wanting outside workers to fill the positions. They're not really invested in our, our patients. Uh, they really just come in here to get their paycheck, take it back home and, and spend it there. Right now they're still in negotiation and the union is not considering a strike yet. It is a possibility, but that's not what we're hoping for. Both parties will go back to the table Friday and if they can't reach an agreement then they will have four more sessions. In Huntington, Lane Ball, 13 News. There will also be a candlelight vigil Friday night, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, where community and faith leaders will come together in support of the hospital and union workers reaching an agreement.